Okay, what we have here is the uh, resonant transformer output. That's the output here, and this is the input. We'll go over the numbers here in a second. We're running about, that's about 20K. That's a 1K right there. This is a 14, uh, 14 volt incandescent bulb. And we've got it tuned. The output, this is basically two Tesla coils, and we're doing a step down. We got 11 and a half turns here, number eight wire, and we've got 79 turns of number uh, 20 wire right there. We've also tuned the uh, input for the uh, 79 turns with that, and then we tune the uh, the high voltage transformer, high frequency. Actually, this is a uh, it's only about 60 volts on this uh, winding. This also goes up to about, I forget what it was, about 4,000 on the other high voltage winding, but we had to tune the uh, transformer, <coughs> output transformer to 20K as well as the input and the output on the uh, two Tesla coils here. We tuned them separately and we put them together, adjusted for the maximum frequency uh, amplitude and from there and the input into the uh, transistor circuit is that and about five five amps <clears throat> so we have the uh, transistor 2n3055 in fact let me see the drawing here is where's the drawing here we go. <clears throat> That's a transistor drive. <clears throat> this is the uh, high voltage transformer output. I've got a push pull here. We've got some trans uh, resistors and diodes for the uh, base to turn them off quick and turn them on slow so we don't get a uh, cross feed, uh, cross conduction of the transistors. Function generator over here. The input was running about the numbers. And you had about 48 volts DC, 51 volts uh, AC on the input, 20K, and the output was running about 10 volts AC. At about 4.8 ratio input to output on the dual Tesla coils. Again, it's a step down Tesla coil. <clears throat> Based on the uh, Zalinda Zeleno Zeus Zane uh, replications, you can see that on the internet. They, she was replicating the Don Smith stuff. <clears throat> this gets hot, by the way. It doesn't take long before it's running. Uh, if we can see that. Yeah, about 106 degrees. Been running about five minutes. It's a pretty big heat sink. So there you have it.